What's up everybody, this is Danny, and this week I'm in New York City and I had a chance to drop in at Microsoft to see their updates to the new Surface Book, which got a decent spec bump with better graphics performance, but the product I was most excited about and blown away by is the new Surface Studio, which is Microsoft's first attempt at an all-in-one PC, but this is not your typical computer, trust me. First of all, I love the design, it's clean, it's thin, and it definitely caught my eye. It's basically all display here with a 28 inch 10 bit 4.5K display with amazing colors and you get a nice metal design all around and all the power is actually packed into this thin base so your processor and GPU and storage are all in there along with the four USB 3.0 ports, gigabit ethernet, mini display port, SD card slot and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the back. There is a 5 megapixel 1080p front facing camera for video chats and Windows Hello face sign in. But the coolest thing is, this zero gravity hinge in seconds can turn this Surface Studio into the craziest digital canvas and the large display on this thing just makes it come alive. Of course you can web browse and use this thing as a regular PC, but to get the full experience out of the studio, you're going to need the pen, which is the same pen that we've seen before, and there's a brand new Surface Dial, which functions on your desk or the next level stuff here is you can place it right on the display and menus pop up around it to give you hands-on control. This definitely feels like the future, I mean this is on some Iron Man stuff here. Well, maybe it's not that crazy, but the dial is very smooth and it feels really natural. I even got a chance to sketch on this and play around with the new 3D functionality in Microsoft Paint. And even though I am not an artist, I can see this being a dream computer for creativity in general. Of course, if you like to draw, you can control the thickness of the brush strokes, change textures and colors quickly with the dial. You can zoom in and get access to the finest details, create easy 3D models. I mean, watching this thing and seeing what it was capable of, it was really impressive. Even watching music creation was awesome. To be this interactive with the creative process, I think this is on another level. In a short time I had to play with it, the palm rejection worked well, the display looked really nice, bright and sharp, and while I would say it's not as sharp as the 5K iMac display, I don't think creators will be disappointed at all. In terms of power, it can be configured up to a Core i7 6th generation processor with up to 32GB of RAM and an NVIDIA 980M GPU. While on paper, this machine does seem underpowered, but the optimization here seemed to be on point because the experience seemed fluid and they were showing off some gaming also on the Surface Studio and the frame rates were also very steady. If you're a gamer though, I doubt you'll be buying this machine, but for casual gamers, you should be just fine. Overall and first impression, I have to say this is one of the most innovative computers I've ever seen, but it's gonna cost you. The base model with the Core i5, 8 gigs of RAM, and one terabyte hybrid drive, and the NVIDIA 965M will cost you $3,000. And the top spec model with the Core i7, 32 gigs of RAM, 2 terabyte hybrid drive, and the 980M will cost you a whopping $4,200. And this is probably the model that you're gonna want if you're a creator. With this type of pricing, I don't see it as a direct competitor to something like the iMac 5K, but more directed towards the graphic artists and designers, giving them an alternative to Wacom tablets, giving them the digital canvas they need all in this beautiful form factor. I really enjoyed my time with this. I hope to get more hands-on in the future. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this first look at the Microsoft Surface Studio. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. If you would like me to do some more PC coverage, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.